I want to talk about the parting of the Red Sea and what brought this up was a, a question here by or a, yeah a question or whatever by Mend Bender and she asked how do you know God parted the Red Sea were you there or do you just believe what you read and appeal to authority all right so yeah <laughs> Depend. I mean, do I appeal to authority? That depends on who you consider authority. All right. And then, of course, my answer is that I believe the Bible because the Bible is the Word of God, and I put the Bible before all things written and spoken of man. But, uh, you know, that's a pretty good question. How do you know God parted the Red Sea? Well, the obvious answer is the Bible. Now let's see what scientists and experts tell us here. In the meantime, scientists have put a little research into the parting of the Red Sea. Be a physical explanation for Moses' miracle. It may not have been like the classic movie, The Ten Commandments. In fact, the new study published by PLOS indicates that strong, persistent winds could have been a major factor in the sea's movement. So they did these computer simulations recreating 3,000-year-old acts, and then they found that 63-mile-an-hour winds yeah. blowing for 12 hours could have actually pushed the water to bend. Scientists based their study on shifting depths over waterways over time. Yeah, so that's okay. So the, did you catch that 63-mile-an-hour winds for over 12 hours <laughs> okay so can you imagine trying to walk through 63 mile an hour winds the idea is asinine you're not gonna walk through 63 mile an hour winds it, no way I don't believe that at all. Can you walk? Is that even possible to stand up against 63 mile per hour winds, let alone, you know, walk? Can you even stand? <clears throat> to me, the idea is just ridiculous. And of course, you know, nobody thinks about nothing and they just, what a, that's what they say. Those winds. What about the people walking through? <laughs> and then, of course, um, there was a video here I wanted to share. Uh, there's a few of them, I reckon. Uh, let's first of all let's do Moses uses the power of God to what I believe is the best example one. right here. This to me, this is like the very first time they did it this visual effect in a movie Walk through it unharmed however and that was in my opinion the best one that's ever been done the power of god to part the sea right, and the Jews consider walk this through it that looks like jello doesn't it well what's the bible say in, in exodus 15 verse 8 and with the blast of thy nostrils the waters were gathered together the floods stood upright as in heap and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. Now to me, this word congealed, let me read the definition if I can, having become semi-solid, especially uncooling, okay. So, like a semi-solid, the depths of the, the waters became congealed. It, to me, it's kind of like jello. Or a little bit like jello. And that's exactly what we're seeing in this what 1954 movie or whatever year that was um, very good effects right there as good as any you're gonna see in my opinion of course um, if we can go to you know I think this is a movie I've not seen uh, if you know, just to give you a, a thought here you know when I watched the the Ten Commandments from 1954 or whatever. The, it was a great movie, but at the end they had Pharaoh living. Pharaoh didn't live through the Red Sea. He died. Yeah, so why would they lie? Why? 
why can't you just tell the God's honest truth when you're making a movie of such significance? It's unbelievable, really. But, anyways, um, so that's why that's partly why I won't watch this movie, just because it just bothers me. You you know, you got all the facts before you, and you still screw it up. So, watching this clip here they don't actually show the parting of the Red Sea. They'll show the clouds. You know, all they show is like the, there's no water in the sea. And I think they very subtly are suggesting the waters came after they crossed. In other words, there was no parting of the Red Sea. If you fast forward here. Now I believe uh, if if we looked here, they they don't do all that bad in that movie, if I'm recalling this correctly. Um, the pillar of the cloud went before their face and stood behind them, and um, he took not away the pillar of the cloud by day, nor the pillar by f of fire by night. So there was a pillar of cloud that led them during the day and a pillar of fire that led them at night. Now we go to this here and we see uh, these tornadoes which you could call pillars right here but they're they're scattered all throughout so it, it they can't make any logical sense out of that stuff but it's almost good and then this to me just looks like a big wave <clears throat> I think they would have been better served to show exactly this effect right here is that that is really good uh, this guy he's been in one good movie and I don't know his name, but yeah, at least he dies in this movie, right? Unlike the original Ten Commandments. Now this, that's stupid. Oh, come on. You think he was just all calm, cool, till the very end? No. He was in full in panic mode when he realized, when he seen what was about to come. And no way in hell was this guy calm, cool, all the way to the end, but they always gotta make the bad guy look cool. You wanna be cool, right? Well, be like the bad guys, okay. All right, so enough of that. And then, let's take a look at a couple more. How people think Moses split the Red Sea. Well, it looks like he raised up his hand, and then him and the people walked through then how he really did it he stuck his stick in the like a power rangers or whatever you know stuck it into the ground and everything went splash wow look at that that's pretty cool huh except that's not right that's not even vaguely accurate that's not even close how let's see how he really did it all right so that's why I typed in the hand there. I've got to fast forward a little bit here. Move on down. And uh, let's see here. Right here we go. No, not there. I think right here. I don't know. Let's find out. But if thou, but lift thou, <clears throat> excuse me, but lift thou up thy rod and stretch out thy hand over the sea and divide it. <clears throat> okay, so lift up thy rod and stretch out thine hand over the sea. Not slam your stick into the ground and yell yabba dabba do, you know. So Matt, Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land made the sea dry land and the waters were divided and of course um, 
Because I got 15 there. Um, yeah. Well, let's go. Yeah, in Exodus 15, this is where we get the word congealed, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. Um, regardless, uh, there's no doubt in my mind. I mean, it's a big, significant event in the Bible, and it showed that God led his people out of the wicked country of Egypt. Led, uh, God led them out of the wickedness of the world and brought them to uh, a better place. So also will Jesus lead us out of this wicked world and into a much better place. All right. <clears throat> so it's sort of setting the stage, giving us an example that is very important. All right, because we need to be delivered out of this wicked world, just as Moses delivered God's people out of the land of Egypt. All right, so, and yeah, there's so much phoniness in the world here. How does anybody know anything? And let's take a look at this simulation. All right, that's like a splash, and just. The, the waters are not congealed and uh, you know I don't, you don't want to get into it all that much but and then we got this simulation here what in the lake of tennis is that even a real place like what that say I don't know who these people are National Center for atmospheric research okay all right, so they did all this research and didn't even. I mean, the red, the parting of the Red Sea comes from the Bible. So how about looking at the Bible to give us an accurate dis, uh, dis, uh, depiction of what happened, instead of taking the idea and not looking into the Bible at all? And the idea comes from the Bible. So, anyways. Yeah, huh? 